Morning guys. So you know I do a wide variety of different things. Besides plumbing work and trapping, sometimes I'm doing electrical work, sometimes I'm doing um, uh, cut and brush, sometimes I'm doing a little carpentry job. Uh, it could be a, anything. And invariably, I get somewhere and there's one little knickknack that I need and I don't have it. So I've, by organizing my truck as efficiently as I can, I've tried to eliminate that, obviously. I've, I'm kind of uh, OCD about everything being in a certain place anyway, and I like my shit squared away. You can't really tell it because my truck gets worked out of all day, every day, and it gets, it gets pretty bad. But as soon as I get home, I try to clean it up and take care of it and get ready for the next day. It's like when the cowboy got where he was going, he took care of his horse first. The workman has to take care of his work truck first. So yesterday I've been planning this upgrade to my job box for a while. So I went out and got uh, got three of the magnets from Harbor Freight. I wanted to try them. So I hung three of them, and this is a little bit different than what I had originally intended, but it's perfect. And um, after I did this, this morning I actually looked on YouTube and saw that there was a couple other guys with videos that had done this, but they were all guys that worked in a in an auto. So I think Toolhead 147, he did one and put them on the outside of his toolbox. These were all like automotive guys with boxes that were inside. So this is a little bit different and my attachment is gonna be a little bit better. So let's crawl up in here and take a look. So I've had this box about, I don't know, six or eight months, whatever. And um, the first thing I did was get this $10 light from Harbor Freight and stick up here in the top. And it's been great. I haven't had to change the batteries in it yet. And you know, in the winter, it gets dark early while you're still working, and pull that up, and I'll be able to pull it up, flip it on, I'm good. So these magnets from Harbor Freight, they have hole, the holes, the mounting holes in them are 17 inches apart, which is kind of weird. You would thought they would have made them 16 to be perfectly center to center of studs of your house when you mount them on your garage wall. But my original intention was to put them here and go through the uh, metal. But when I looked at I took down the cargo net. The cargo net to me was useless. It hung down, uh, shit tended to fall out of it. So yesterday I took the cargo net out, took these, uh, unscrewed these bolts, and I noticed how perfect it was to go this in this direction. So it takes a, uh, and, and the stupid thing, the rigid box is great. I've been looking at other brands. Um, because I want to get one of the smaller boxes next and I'm probably just going to go with another rigid. It's, it was better than anything else in its price range uh, from what I can tell. So this is a little bit thinner than what I would like to have threaded. They should have like tacked a nut onto the back of these. But the spacing between these bolt holes is perfect for these. See, I was gonna use it to store uh, my saw blades and whatnot. My original intention was to hang my crimping tools up here. It was a little questionable. If I could get all three of them, uh, if I could get three magnets to on these, I, it would hold it no, without a problem. But because the uh, because all the handles are wrapped, it's not gonna do it. See? My crimping tools were always in the way, so I emptied out the shit that was in the tray and put them in there. So, so the other guys that were doing these were doing them with a The other guys that were putting magnets on their boxes drilled holes through the boxes and bolted them. Other people mentioned that they could do um, epoxy. Other people mentioned that you could take two of these and bolt them together back to back. All of which are pretty decent ideas. But it just so happens that I have... A rivet gun. I bought this recently to use on one project and I've used it on two other projects since then where it just made sense to use it because there's some things that rivets are just awesome for. So this is a 3 8, uh, I'm sorry, 3 16 with a 1 8 inch grip steel rivet. And this is a Milwaukee, what's it called? This 
the Milwaukee Shockwave uh, drill bit for an impact driver because I don't have like a 20 volt cordless drill since all I have is my 60 volt in this and it's all I really ever need. Pop that right in there. This is a Marson rivet gun. When I went to look for a rivet gun, I didn't buy any cheap crap. Rivets have their have some have some advantages in certain situations. You may buy a rivet tool and only use it every five years, but I think that once you get one, you're going to find uses for it where it, it beats the hell out of a screw or it beats the hell out of any other method. Now, if you want to take these and pop them on the outside of your box, fine, but be sure you put the dome of the rivet on the outside. In that case, it's substantially better than say using a screw where you're going to have a point sticking through the metal. On one side or the other. And I think the I think the rivet is the best way to go with these. So one cool thing about this is it gives you a space behind here that's about just more than a little thicker than my fingers or right about finger width where I was able to stick like instruction manuals. Uh, in fact, that's the booklet that comes with a water cooler. So I always have the rough end dimensions for a water cooler because I only do one every few years now. Not like the old days when I did them all the time. The saw, various saw blades hang up there pretty, pretty easily. Don't make fun of my rusty one. This came in a kit um, years and years ago, and I've never had to change the blade on my little quarter of the skill, uh, circular saw. It's, I've had it on there for years and done a lot with it, and it's still sharp. It's a DeWalt blade. I guess it was a good one. So yeah, you can put uh, blueprints behind here. You might take a folding poncho, put that behind there for when it's raining, just whatever. But I think this is a pretty good setup. But uh. I think eventually I would like to show y'all just how well organized this toolbox is and how much shit I've got in here because there's a little bit of everything and I can get just about anywhere and do just about, just about anything. And when I, do, when I do find something I don't have, I try to make room for it and add it in here because I, I'm tired of having the back seat of this truck full of my shit. So I'd like to actually have a, a little bit of room back there. So anyway. That's all I got to show you guys. Oh, uh, if you like the shirt, check out the uh, Shopify store that I got set up. Because uh, I like to get rid of some of these and get uh, get the hats in. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one.